Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. Milwaukee Emergency Center for Animals Television is brought to you by Haas, the Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha County, leading the community in animal welfare and assuring sanctuary for animals in need. Metropolitan Fence, we're always on the level. And Camp Bow Wow, premier doggy day in overnight camps. Well, we sit here uh, kind of embarrassed and ashamed, not the best shiny moment for pet owners. Uh, our, we didn't get the cat fixed right away, so she became pregnant, and unfortunately it didn't go so good. And we found ourselves on a Friday night rushing over here for their help, and they were the best. Um, she wasn't able, they were two big kittens and neither one survived and she's doing great she's doing great that night when we came home we found one kitten that was pretty big and she's a small cat had she passed was dead so we came here and they took x-rays and we were hoping that the kitten was alive it wasn't and so they did the c-section and had to give her antibiotics and we were able to visit her and she's doing great and we're so excited to bring her home Harlow is a three-year-old kitty that is now spayed, but came in presented for a kitten being stuck in the uh, vulva. So the legs were sticking out and they couldn't pull the kitten out because of the positioning and the head was too big. So the owner agreed to getting her spayed, which she knows that she should have spayed beforehand. But that's what happens, and the other kitten that she had at home, she actually killed it. It's just kind of a mother instinct kind of thing. It's a new mother. She had first time she had had kittens, and if you look at her, she almost looks like a kitten herself. So it's a baby having babies, basically. And she's very nervous and very scared because she's still got uh, hormone effects of being a little baby and uh, her personality is going to get a lot better once the estrogens go down and uh, that'll be in about a month to two months and then she'll be a normal spade kitty and a, make a really good family pet so now she's a little bit nervous kitty but she's doing well she had her surgery so she was spayed and she's got a big incision line there as you can see but that was made so that they could get the whole uterus out and then the dead kitten that was in there. So they pulled it back into the uterus and then just took out the uterus and the ovaries. So we do an ovohysterectomy in animals because we don't believe that they need estrogens. Like in women, they usually just do a hysterectomy. In animals, we take all the ovaries and the uterus out. So. So they lose all their ability to produce any estrogens at all. But they make much better family pets, so. There she is! Yeah, she's <laughs> Yeah. She's been kind of yelling too, protesting, so that, that's always a good sign. Hi. Hi, Harlow. We're going to take your little bandaid off. Hold on. Oh, we're going to get Ashley back to her. So I know. Yeah. All right, you guys can come hang on to her. I'm just going to go over her medication real quick. All right. 
right. So she's going home on a pain medication. And this is going to be once a day. We've been doing it at 7 p.m. So it's written down here. So tonight at 7 p.m. All you're going to do is take this cap off. This cap goes in and then you pull it down to that dose marker. Okay. And squirt it in her mouth. Okay. Okay, this is a pain medication. So if she starts to have any vomiting, diarrhea, call us. Do not give the medication, just give us a call. Okay. okay. Um, now, homework wise, you have to try and keep her calm, quiet, no running, no jumping, not a lot of activity just because we want that incision line to heal properly and we don't want it breaking open. So she does have some stitches on the outside, not very many because they tend to not lick as much if oh, okay. there's not very many. But she does need to come back in 10 or 14 days okay. to get that suture removed. There's no okay. charge for that. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> and then we gave her a antibiotic injection, which lasts for 10 to 14 days. So you're covered there. Oh, you don't nice. have to worry about any infection. You have no pills, no nothing. And then that's pretty much it. She's been doing well. Like I said, she's ate for us this morning, which is a big step. She's a little nervous with everything that's going on. But She's doing well. She's not yet ready to go home. I know. Oh, she's so little. Because she's a little head. Yeah, she looks way yeah. perky. And she's going to be sleepy when she goes home today, too, just from the hospital stay. We're, yeah. we're annoying. Okay. We were in there every two hours. Let's <laughs> eat, let's get up, let's do this, let's change your litter box. And then she's going to pee a lot. Oh, okay. She was on. Okay. All right. All right. Well, otherwise, that's it. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Call if you have any questions. We're here 24 hours. Bye, sweetheart. Stay out of trouble. Thank God you are. Yeah, and thank you for all of you. You've been so nice to us. Really appreciate it. So, we have a four year old female intact chihuahua that presented today and the Chihuahua was straining in labor for about three to four hours without producing any puppies. They really haven't taken very good care of her and they couldn't afford to take care of her. So they signed her over and we had a rescue, which is called Little Buddy's Rescue, has now adopted her and we're going to take the puppies out and do a C-section. And then they're going to find homes for the mother and the four puppies that are inside her. We're hoping there are four live puppies inside. We're prepping the epidural space, which is the wings of the ilium and the lumbosacral space. That's what they do in women also, same area. So you anesthetize the whole caudal part of the body, the abdomen. And that per, er, makes it so that you have less anesthesia and the epidural never reaches the puppies, the placenta, so it's just anesthetizes the dog's abdomen. Milwaukee Emergency Center for Animals Television is brought to you by Haas, the Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha County. Metropolitan Fence, we're always on the level. 
and Camp Bow Wow, premier doggy day and overnight camps. And now, a word from our sponsors. Welcome to Camp Bow Wow in Waukesha, the premier doggy day and overnight camp where a dog can be a dog. Our campers play all day in our four large indoor and four outdoor play yards. Watch your pup from anywhere in the world at our high-speed camper cams. Our certified camp counselors, spacious cabins with comfy cots, pup pools, and outdoor play equipment ensure that your pup has a great time. We're open 365 days per year for your convenience. Stop in for a tour and book a reservation for your dog's free day of camp. Visit CampBowWow.com slash Waukesha or call 262-547-WOOF for more information. At Metropolitan Fence, we have been keeping your children and pets safe in southeastern Wisconsin for over 27 years. We offer a full line of residential and commercial fencing from vinyl, wood, ornamental, and chain link. For a free estimate, please call us at 262 262- 547-6001 or visit us online at metrofence.biz and remember we are always on the level the Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha is so much more than a shelter. Our adoption staff, animal caregivers, and behavior department ensure the best possible adoptive companion. Our spay neuter programs actively combat pet overpopulation in our area, and our animal rescue team safely returns lost pets back home. Paws does one on one consultations, holds a variety of training classes and seminars, and even hosts camps for kids. Our shelter is and always has been open admissions and full service, providing resources for pets and their people for a happy lifetime together. Pause. We're building a society that's humane. Boarding, grooming, training, and more. When it comes to your pet, Animal Motel is their home away from home. At Animal Motel, we offer a top-of-the-line facility with boarding suites for both dogs and cats, outdoor play yards, a training hall, and so much more. Whether they're here for obedience training, grooming, or an extended stay, we promise your dog and cat will be part of our family. Animal Motel, personalized care for your precious pets. Looking to get some training for your dog? For pet's sake is your one-stop dog training center. We offer all-inclusive obedience training, canine sports training, specialty classes, and more. We provide training classes in three convenient locations with our main facility in McGuanago, which boasts a fully matted 5,200 square foot training hall. While in McGuanago, check out our Bichon Buddy Rescue and take home your new pet. Bichon and Little Buddies Rescue takes in Bichons, other small dog breeds and cats that need to be rehomed for various reasons. Now it's a bit tense because we're trying to get the babies out as fast as we possibly can. We want to save all the puppies. That's our main goal and the mother. We don't care what we're doing with the uterus because we're taking it out. Got it? Yep. Watch out for its head. 
Double clamp, cut. Double clamp, cut. Okay, here comes the first one. Ready? Okay. Next one. Next one's coming. Got it. Excitement is over. Got all the pups out. I think they're all alive. And now we can relax a little bit. We're spaying her so that she can't have puppies again. She's going to a rescue and they always want her to be spayed, which is a good thing. It was probably in the birth canal for a long time and they didn't know that she was having puppies. Are all of them breathing? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, you guys gotta huddle, 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 huddle. This one's the strongest one, this one right here. Yeah, so right now we are tying off their umbilical cords and just basically disengaging their bodies from the umbilical cords. Since they don't need the placenta and mama's help anymore, we can do that and they will be fine on their own. surgery. Three out of four pups made it. That's our goal. So this is the uterus and these are the two ovaries. So we take out, uh, we take out both ovaries and the whole uterus down to the cervix. Five minutes old, guys. <laughs> Not too often pretty you awesome. get to see that. Yeah, yeah it is pretty awesome. <laughs> C-sections are pretty common, especially oh, around Christmas time and around the new year because that's when everybody wants to sell their puppies, obviously. But they can come any time of the year. And they usually come at the most inopportune times, meaning in the middle of the night. This is very shocking to have one come during the daytime but like I told you this particular case the people waited a long time luckily we have a lot of rescues that we work with and they're really good people that we can call within five minutes get them on the phone ask if they're gonna be able to raise some money to pay for the surgery and then we work on getting the mother and the puppies to the rescue so that they can find really super good homes what this mother deserves and what the puppies deserve, a really good home. So that's kind of the fun of the day to uh, have live puppies coming out because it the staff is excited, uh, doctors are excited, and especially when you have live puppies, it makes for a, it's the end of my day and it makes for a happy end of the day. 
the premier doggy day and overnight camp where a dog can be a dog. Our campers play all day in our four large indoor and four outdoor play yards. Watch your pup from anywhere in the world at our high-speed camper cams. Our certified camp counselors, spacious cabins with comfy cots, pup pools, and outdoor play equipment ensure that your pup has a great time. We're open 365 days per year for your convenience. Stop in for a tour and book a reservation for your dog's free day of camp. Visit campbowwow.com slash waukesha or call 262-547-WOOF for more information. Because you love him completely, because he is part of your family. When your pet needs emergency care, you want the very best trauma and critical care specialist standing by. You know there's only one place you can trust and always count on. I test Mega on the Dale Crescent for the medical care for Bailey. Dr. Crescent and I are very happy that we were able to provide medical care for Bailey and all the other Milwaukee Brewer player pets. At Metropolitan Fence, we have been keeping your children and pets safe in southeastern Wisconsin for over 27 years. We offer a full line of residential and commercial fencing from vinyl, wood, ornamental, and chain link. For a free estimate, please call us at 262-547-6001 or visit us online at metrofence.biz. And remember, we are always on the level. For over a decade, Fetch Magazine has examined the unique bond humans have with their canine companions by publishing popular dog-related topics. With a strong commitment to dogs in need, Fetch also prints local adoptables in each issue, supplies affordable advertising to businesses, and gives rescues 30% off of ads. This year, Fetch is offering $15 subscriptions for your convenience. For more information, visit www.fetchmag.com or pick up your free copy at a local pet establishment near you. Go Fetch! Uh, Chelsea is a 10-year-old female spay dog that presented because the dog's been kind of on and off for about two months. They were up north and they used a veterinarian up there, went in to him saying, gosh, the dog's drinking lots of water, eating a lot, appears to be more hungry, but losing weight. And at the same time, really lethargic and just not herself. I took some blood work saw that the liver enzymes were elevated, took a thyroid test, which is sometimes hypothyroidism can cause a dog to be a little bit lethargic. And then they took a Cushing's test because sometimes Cushing's disease can cause you to drink a lot of water. Everything was normal except for the liver enzymes were a little bit elevated, so they just kind of went on their way and without a diagnosis. And uh, they were coming back down here to Oak Creek area. And when they came down from up north, they were like, wow, this dog is really weak and lethargic and looks sick now. Just kind of not herself at all. And they were very concerned. Came in here on a Friday evening and just besides themselves, they wanted to get to the bottom of this. We took some blood work here and found out that the dog was a ketoacidotic diabetic. So what does that mean? It means that it's one step beyond being a diabetic. It means you're a sick diabetic. You're now not only having a high blood sugar, but also producing ketones because your blood sugar is way out of whack. So then your body starts it doesn't, it can't, uh, util, it utilizes the muscle and turns it into ketones because you can't take enough sugar in because the glucose is so high and the insulin is, uh, can't combine with the sugar. There's not enough insulin around to combine with the sugar. So then the body starts taking muscles and fat and starts utilizing that to break down. And the dog starts losing weight they start producing a lot of glucose in their urine, which saturates the urine and makes them super thirsty. And that's why the dog is drinking lots of water. Once they get to that point, you start producing ketones, you become really sick, meaning feeling nauseous. And then you get to a stage where you can go over to the next stage, which is even death if they keep going like this. So we caught this dog just in time brought uh, her into the hospital, was able to give her, first of all, we hydrated her, 
Then we put her on an insulin constant rate infusion so we could get those ketones down and get the glucose down slowly over about a 24 to 36 hour period. Once we did that, the dog felt so much better. She was hydrated. She also had an infection in her urine. We took care of the infection with antibiotics and then we were able to switch her over to NPH, which is a regular insulin that she'll use daily, twice a day for the rest of her life. She'll be a diabetic. So the owners are gonna have to learn how to use or give insulin to their dog. And what we're doing here right now is just regulating her and make sure we're getting to the closest possible dose so that they can take her home on that dose. Um, I came home from work one day and she was um, breathing really rough. I kind of explained it like when you're going to throw up and you have that really deep breathing. Uh, she was very tired and groaning a lot and not herself and really weak. So I called my husband and said, you need to come home right now. <laughs> and then we called our vet and um, they said to go ahead and bring her into an emergency room. Um, they weren't sure if it was um, her heart, her lungs, the stomach, anything, but they said to uh, bring her in. And, and what did they find? Um, she's, she's diabetic and she had um, pneumonia, I don't remember the correct name they said. Um, and I asked how they got it, how dogs can get it, and she just said just, it can happen where they swallow some food and everything. And then um, she had a little bit of a skin infection, um, but they said it's just something from the soil. So, what is her prognosis? Um, she's going to be on insulin now, twice a day. Uh, they have her on antibiotics for the, um, the pneumonia and for the um, skin infection. So, they checked out her heart and her lungs and her stomach. They did, they did an echo gram. Um, everything looks good, so I'm hoping it's just the diabetes and the pneumonia. Um, everybody here has been so wonderful. They really have. And Today's show was brought to you by Haas, the Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha County, leading the community in animal welfare and assuring sanctuary for animals in need. Metropolitan Fence, we're always on the level. And Camp Bow Wow, premier doggy day and overnight camps.